Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today, we're going to be taking a look at Don't Starve Reign of Giants again, guys. It's time. I spent a little bit of time playing. I only had to do like a couple of days worth. Uh, and we unlocked Wendy the Bereaved, who apparently is haunted by her twin sister. Um, I'm not quite sure. I, I, I think that... Well, it says comfortable with darkness, I think. That means that she just loses sanity a bit less when when it gets when things get dark. I don't think that means that we're safe to just live in pitch black. Uh, so we're going to go with her. We'll just sort of give it a try again. We're going to be playing the default Don't Starve Rain of Giants world, uh, and uh, and yeah, we're going to hopefully survive a little bit longer than we did last time. Um, I think the last one that we did with Wolfgang was not the longest that we've done in the world, but it was not bad. Um, we're going to just try to make sure that we, we survive in this one. From from what I understand... Hey pal, you don't look so good. I understand that the apparently you can summon her twin sister and she'll stay alive and sort of help you out just like the pigs will and stuff. Um, so there's the flower. Nice. Uh, so apparently I've got some sort of... I can hear like a really weird fire. Oh my god, wow! Oh my god, how lucky are we? Guys, look at this. This means that we're not going to have any problems with, with food, like, at all. we just got, like, a gajillion berries just, like, knocking about. That is amazing. Oh my god. We're going to have to make our base here. And there's, there's a turkey now. <laughs> He's hanging out. He's eating the berries. No. Stop eating the berries. No. Okay. No. I'm trying to fit them, them faster than He's eating them. God oh, damn it. Stupid turkey. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, let me, let me Wow. Okay, so that's a really good start. Like, straight off the bat there. We're going to have to go with that, I think. That looks like it's going to be something pretty damn good to me. Uh, so, yeah, welcome back, guys. This show hasn't ended, even though we're doing some GTA 5 content and stuff. I wanted to carry on playing this game as well, because I know you guys are enjoying the series. Um, so, it, we, we haven't finished by any stretch of the imagination in doing this kind of uh, Don't Starve stuff, because I do enjoy this game. And we are still playing and getting ready, or getting better at the game before the Reign of Giants uh, expansion pack comes out, because obviously that's pretty important to make sure that we're getting good. Because the last thing you want to do is watch us play the Don't Start Together um, badly. So, uh, so yeah, we're just trying to get a, a bit more sort of proficient at the game. Lubot uh, is is already um, knows how to play, so so we're not gonna really worry too much. Um, and I might be trying to get some special guests to to be involved in the show as well, which should be a whole lot of fun. Um, but uh, I mean, more kind of like details about that kind of stuff later on. So if you were enjoying the show, guys. Don't forget to like the Don't Starve videos because uh, they need a little love. They're, they're, it's probably the... Um, I mean, to be honest with you, like, I don't really mind that much. It's, it's, the, it's the least kind of watched show on my channel. doesn't mean it's the worst show. It just means that the Don't Starve community is smaller than like the GTA 5 community and the Minecraft community. The Minecraft content that I do um, in general anyway is not, it's not fair to compare the two because the, the Minecraft content that I do is like... I have been doing it for I think the, the one of the well the first video I actually put out was a Civilization video. Uh, it was on Civ Five, but the uh, the Minecraft content has been like a, a staple diet of the Cathcast for the, the the duration of the show, um, and uh, the, the the amount of effort that I put into the the mod packs and stuff that is a completely different kettle of fish. So you can never expect the Minecraft content to do the same as like the Don't Starve content, but. If you do enjoy this show uh, and you want to show your support and you want to help me out and you can't afford to go on Patreon, which I completely understand, some people can't, um, then the best thing you can do is just hit that like button for me. And then it's done. And then you've taken care of it, you've done your part, and you can sit back and think, yeah, I helped the cast out. That's great. So, yeah, if you could do that, that would be really, really awesome. But, you know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna beg or anything, don't worry. Uh, so, for the first night, we probably will do a little bit more exploring. Um, we're going to try to spend a little bit of time looking sort of around that area. So, I'm not going to go too far out here. What I probably will do is actually just sort of like follow the roads a little bit and just see like where they're inevitably going to take us. And then once we've got the roads all mapped out, then we can sort of like start venturing off of them as well. Um, at the moment, uh, one of the really good things would be if we can find a piece of gold, um, that would be ideal. But I don't think it's going to be that easy, so that's not, no, it's not a major problem. Um, uh, it, it's just one of those things where we won't be able to do any science stuff until we uh, until we get that sorted out, which we will do at some point. 
point. I'm so happy that we have that. Oh my god, look at this. There's a free pickaxe up there as well with a skeleton. I'm so happy we got that large collection of berry bushes. That is that is a fantastic bonus for us. It means that we've got a hell of a lot of stuff to keep us going. Uh, and my god, do we need it in this game. So this flower, as you can see, has started to grow now. Uh, there's a spider there, and I don't want to I don't really get involved with him. Um, there, so the the the, uh, the flower apparently grows for a couple of days, and then when it's ready to bloom, you place it down on the floor, and you kill something next to it, and then that will summon uh, Abigail, who's my dead sister apparently, which is lovely, um, a great great story for for young Wendy here. But uh, but yeah, them's them's the blows, I guess. <laughs> That's how these things roll sometimes. And uh, and yeah, if she's going to be able to be summoned. And help us out because apparently we are a little bit on the on the side of weak. Uh, to to cut a long story short, do you reckon we can get back there in time? We, if we're if we're super fast, we might be able to start building the base now because we've already got enough bits and pieces to build our goddamn fireplace, which is fantastic. I'll just go. I'll just go for it like full speed. Where is it? Uh, down this way, straight down. This way. Dun 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 dun. We've got 21 berries to eat. <laughs> We're not going to be going hungry for berries anytime soon, guys. This is fantastic. Look at this. Uh, and it's just, yeah, just down here. Well, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so there is a problem. There is a problem. I did not realize that he... Okay, can I give you some berries? Will you eat some? No, okay. Wow, okay. Well, that's not good. We're going to we're gonna have to just sort of like camp out for tonight instead, I think. Because um, he's clearly not very happy. And we might have to uh, take care of that pig torch or something then, I guess, if that's going to be the case. Um, we didn't lose too much health, though, so I'm not too concerned. I think what, what we'll do in the meantime is we will just get this campfire going sort of like here. Uh, here. And then we will just do some gathering while we're here. Maybe cook up some of those berries. Uh, there's a spider who's going to be next to us for the evening, it looks like, as well. Just not the best. Uh, but that's fine. No, we're okay. We're okay. I'm going to actually I'll cook up these mushrooms straight away because I think the red ones do give you a bit of health. I think. I'll have to try it with one of them. Uh, yeah. It gives you a little bit of health but lowers your sanity. Uh, which is fine. We can take that trade to start off with. I'm going to have to kill a couple of spiders if I can to get some of those glands off them. But I think one of the most important things that I'm going to be able to do... <clears throat> oh god. Yeah, this is not good. Let's just sort of hang out until he starts walking towards us. Looks like he's not interested in, in killing us, which is good. And in fact, one of the cool things as well is that um, also standing near monsters, my sanity will not uh, decrease as fast as well from what I've read online. Because um, I wanted to do a bit of research this time because I wasn't sure about how this character would work. Um, and it was important to make sure that we knew kind of what we were doing, basically. So yeah, we've done that. Um, in terms of like keep keeping this fire going, I mean, I'm not really too worried about it getting super dark because she doesn't mind I guess <laughs> so we'll just hang out here for the evening uh, <clears throat> just hope that spider doesn't come too close ah okay now we're going to have to play the running game the running game this is the running game I play the running game all night it is amazing la 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 <laughs> la 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 I am playing the running game, the running game. La 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 la. Bam! Running game is a bit bigger now. Oh man. Well, at least we have plenty of food. Oh god. Running game. Running game. Running game. It's getting still smaller again. Yeah, I know you're angry. Whatever. Chill out. God damn it. Take like a chill pill, guy. It's only a game, you know. Uh, we've also turned the uh, the background music um, onto a, the very low setting. Oh god, this is getting really dark now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Oh, nearly. Okay, you got one hit from that. 71. There's the there's their little base there, um, which is fine. So this guy's gonna follow us for a little bit, I guess. Not a problem. He can do that. I don't care. We're just gonna do a little bit more exploring. Um, We'll have to we'll have to try and make our base around where that pig is, and perhaps I mean he seems like really aggressive, so I don't I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to sort of like get him on our side. It didn't feel like he really wanted to be uh, involved in our little team that we've got going on here, so that might be a problem. But anyway, we can uh, we can carry on gathering some wood and stuff, and get a science machine built up, get a base at some point. 
The water, uh, we're not going to worry about too much to start off with. That's not, it's never a major concern until kind of like it really starts affecting our sanity and things. Um, although, the, <laughs> even though the water is really, really coming down, something fierce. We have some sticks here. Uh, thanks to this, uh, this another, another skeleton just hanging about, having a good time. Let's hang about by this one here. Yeah, that does, it does make a difference. And you can hear it in the sound that the game does that it is making a difference. So maybe we'll just sort of like stand under some trees and do some rain, like uh, cutting down whilst it's uh, whilst it's getting wet, I guess. Maybe. Because each time we start cutting things like down, we get under it and then we get a little bit of uh, rain protection here. And then we'll just carry on going. I think that, that would probably make the most sense. I don't know. We'll just carry on. I'm not too worried about kind of getting too waterlogged. There's nothing major going on. We will have to go and try and kill some spiders not only to try and resurrect our lovely sister, um, but also to be able to be in with a chance... Oh, look at all those planks and the axe! Oh, that is amazing! Uh, to be also to be in with a chance of, uh, of actually surviving in terms of getting some healing glands and stuff. Um, we're going to have to definitely go and kill some spiders, so we'll have to take care of that. 71 health. There's a winter hat over here as well. Oh my god. Wow. This game seems to be blessing us with quite a lot of really awesome stuff. Uh, but the question is, what's the best way to get some, like, healing on the go, apart from getting... I wonder if there's any other way of doing it, apart from getting spider glands. Or heal healing glands, are they called? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll go and get this winter hat, though, and put it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm gorgeous. Is there anything up there? Right, that's the that's the, the pig torchy thing. Okay. That's fine. So, apparently, I am actually getting a bit cold now, because of the rain. Uh, this winter hat is... Uh, it's not... It's not doing very well for me. Um, let's down this tree. Just temporarily. Uh, and see what's what's what. Um, so we can eat these soccer petals. Apparently that does give us health as well. Um, wet Abigail's flower. Oh dear. Everything's wet. She's very cold. Um, more burning. Defend. Okay. Oh, he, he, he actually makes the, that fire. Oh, must defend. Yeah. Okay. He's really... He's really not interested in, in, in listening to what we have to say. Let's get on the road for a little bit. And we can camp out um, and just sort of go down that way a, a little while. Try and wait until the the, uh, the water, the rain ends. Maybe dry ourselves out a little bit, which would be nice. Uh, plenty of berries. I've still got plenty to eat, though. So I'm not going to worry about picking them immediately. This road goes up this way, it seems. Uh, which I've already kind of established. But we'll just, we'll just do the whole, the whole road, the whole network. Because we can. Uh, is there any point in having a torch right now? Did the road just end, like, abruptly, and I just carried on walking? Yeah, it did. Right, okay. Well, that's fine. That's that taken care of. We can head down this way a little bit. I am getting wet. And I am getting cold now. Uh, like, quite significantly. So, uh, that's something we'll have to bear in mind. It doesn't seem to be affecting us too, too badly, though, right now. So, I'm not majorly concerned. Uh... And the water has actually stopped now, so uh, so I'll start to be getting dry. I'll just I'll just walk it off, as you do, guys. You walk it off, don't you? And then there's not a problem. <laughs> uh, there's a there's a ring thing here. I'm not going to pick it up yet, um, but theoretically, if I now walk away from that, it should be on the map. It's not on the map. Okay, I'll pick it up. <laughs> ring thing. Uh, okay. Anything else of major interest to us without? doing anything too too difficult. Some carrots. I mean, I can, I can kick up all these carrots whilst they're wet and soggy to make some wet, soggy carrot, uh, cooked carrots, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it. Um, okay. Let's, if we can carry on going and get this, just get some more coastline kind of mapped out, then maybe we'll find something interesting. It would be good if we can find a touchstone or two, um, or maybe even find Chester again. Would be ideal, uh, as I'm sure you guys uh, are very accustomed to this now that <laughs> you've been watching this show for a little while. Uh, no, it's fine. We'll, 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 we'll definitely, we'll definitely totally not die right now, guys. I mean, that's, you can't get much more uh, accurate than that. There is some pig houses there. Uh, it looks like a biome change. Let's go up and have a little look. Uh, it's starting to, to get a bit closer to being very dark. Uh, should we start like, just lighting some trees on fire for the fun of it? I mean, we can we can get all the oh god yeah okay let's do this screw it why not I can't actually carry that I'll tell you what I'll do I'll drop my nitre I'll eat I'll eat my seeds I'll pick my nitre back up again I'll put my torch out and I'll start lighting trees for the fun of it 
Yeah. Oh god. That's a. That's actually a, a big old. Yeah, he wants to. Okay, he wants to kill me. Well, that's that's great. That's just great. Okay, we're gonna have to actually build a campfire just here. Yeah, that's right. Big flame scare you, stupid spider. Get out of here. Uh, our sanity is going down a little bit. I just saw a little, a little whispery, sort of whoobery thing coming out. Having a good time. We'll burn some trees, because we can. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, right, well, I mean, what's the, what's the best thing to do here? I'll go have a look at what the hell that is. I didn't even realise that, that was, a, there was a, a thing that I missed there down the road a little bit, which we'll have a look at momentarily. We may as well eat some of these roasted berries that we've got. They are definitely helping our health, actually, as well. Uh, there are some eyes in the... Uh, oh, dear. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> I really want to set up a base, but I don't want to do it yet because I don't want to waste it all. Um, is that really helping my health? 78? 79. It's, it's giving me one health each time I do that. Uh, how about the carrot? One health again. Okay. Darkness has returned. Oh, it's because of the torch burnt out. Okay, that's fine. I've actually got five boards as well. But you forgot about that. That's going to be really, really useful. Because that's like, well, 20, 20 wood that costs to make, if you make it on its own. Uh, we might as well just... Uh, is it worth eating all this stuff? No, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. We are going to have to cook something, though, uh, to get the fire going for longer. Uh, we'll do two two board, two logs rather. That should keep us going for a little longer. Let's just eat. We'll eat some. We'll eat all these carrots because we can. Just give us a bit more health, uh, and then I guess from here we're probably looking at building. Let's have we got we've got enough of an axe and a pickaxe, so we're okay there. We definitely want a backpack, but we can't build a backpack yet. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's down here somewhere. Yeah, it's there. You, we have the ability. But we don't have the science to take care of that. So we'll have to wait uh, until we build the science machine. Once we've decided where we're going to actually like uh, make, a, make a base. Uh, we really want to befriend that pig, but I don't think it's going to happen. So we're going to have to probably use a hammer to take down his pig torch. Maybe? I don't know. I never tried. But it's now getting sunny again. Day three. Here it comes. But... The major concern, obviously, is that uh, we haven't really got the kind of base sorted out, and we are losing the sanity um, at a, 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 not a not a not a significant rate, but uh, but not not the best. Examine wet walrus camp. They are not in there. Where are they? I have no idea. Wendy, I have no idea. I wish I did, but I don't. I think maybe Abigail's flower is actually ready to go. Um, it looks pretty good, but I don't have the ability to kill things yet. Um, I need a spear. I need some armor. All that kind of thing. If, if like, some, some pigs end up fighting some spiders, then I could probably get involved with that. But I need to find some, again, I need to find some meat and stuff so I can get the, uh, the favor of our fair team. Why is it raining in the desert? It shouldn't be raining in the desert. That's not, that's not normal. Uh... Okay, now we're going to follow the roads down now still. See if we can find somewhere that's going to help us out a little bit. Come on, there must be some more stuff around here that's going to help us. We, we need we need additional goods. We have plenty of food, so food is not the problem. The problem is a significant lack of stuff. What do we actually need to think about? We need to get the science machine up, which means we need to choose a base. Which means we need to find somewhere that we will we're okay with living for a t for a temporary until we can get either that pig on our side, or alternatively, if we are able to uh, to kill him. That's, that's the two options, really, isn't it? Plenty of frogs knocking about here. Uh, there's a raccoon dude there. Uh, oh, there's Maxwell's door. Well, that's just great. <laughs> we are finding things by the dozens. Oh my god, it opened. That's scary. Uh, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that too much right now. I don't want to again. I don't want to venture too far out without roads because I don't want to miss anything. Uh, and at the moment, we're just kind of like trying to flesh the area out so we know what exactly what we're kind of like working with. Um, so let's not move out too far. If we just sort of connect that up again a little bit here, and I guess the best thing for us to do would be to see if there's any other roads that we can follow. That road just sort of like dies, I guess, or maybe it goes down. I don't know. We'll do that. We'll follow that road back. Uh, and see if there's anything else that we can find that way. We do have a significant amount of wood 
and a good amount of food. Ah, oh, here we go. This could be this could be good. This could be good. We might actually even get some Oh god. Dangerous. Frog's legs. He's trying he's eating Oh god no. Oh this is not good. This is not the best. Uh, I don't even have any room. Oh dear. Uh, more frog's legs. And that are you fighting guys or no you're not, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna eat this carrot. I'm gonna take these frog's legs, because they might be beneficial. I'll see you later. <laughs> well that worked. Uh, okay, so we'll get back on the roads. This is the wrong road. We need to go up here and down here. And now, if we can find out whether or not this road actually does just stop abruptly. If it does, fine. We'll just have to find somewhere else to go. Soggy and sad. I agree. I agree. It's never, never fun being wet. Uh, but there's not much that we can do about it until we have the ability to build like an umbrella with some silk uh, and blah blah blah. So yeah, it's not. I think I just heard the um, noise of like a giant or something down here somewhere. Maybe it was just me. Oh god, yeah, this, this is not. <laughs> oh god, there's a graveyard as well. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not the way that I wanted to go. Okay, well, can we build another campfire this night. Yes, we can. We have somebody here who's got wet gunpowder just lying on the floor, which is great. Um, what do we want to do? Let's get a couple of these. Do we want to pick that up? Do we want to... Yeah, let's drop these pine cones. No one cares about those. Just get this, this gunpowder in case. Because, I mean, that might be... That might be useful, I guess. I have no idea. It's a dark, dark path I tread. <laughs> she can't take the flowers at all. The sanity thing... Yeah, the sanity thing is not is not a becoming a major problem at all. She seems to be doing actually quite well um, with that. And I think that's because she loses sanity slower when she's near monsters and when she's in like darker times like this. So that's good. We're okay with that. Our health is sort of slowly getting regenerated now, which is good. When Yeah, there's definitely a... Di what the hell's that? Marble tree. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a guy here. Oh, and there's a touchstone as well. Why is there a touchstone right next to that? Oh, there's a clockwork rook. Oh my god, wow. We have stumbled across, like, an almighty... An almighty danger. Wow, there's, like, a couple of clockwork dudes just, like, having a bit of a sleep as well. Man, oh man, jeez. Wow, okay. Well, I guess you may as well go down here, then. Uh, there's that marble tree thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry too much about those. We need to worry about more basic things first, like surviving, you know, living, important things like that. <laughs> well, at least we've got a touchstone, though. So that means that we're def definitely not going to have to worry about dying uh, the very first time and it being game over and just being like, ah, oh, well, that was a waste of time. We've, we've got a bit a bit of a, of a, a possibility for some for some beneficialness. The, these are going stale, so I'm just going to have to eat them all. Was that stale? Yes, it was, my darling. But uh, but I've, I needed to get your health up. Um, and that's that's more important at the moment. Uh, we also have those frog's eggs that we can cook when the night comes, which we can take care of. Uh, do we need to? No. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's make our first kind of like area. Let's let's think about this now. Uh, we'll 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 make the base next uh, in the next day. Uh, we'll put a campfire here uh, so that we can actually. We'll put a log on it as well, and it will be. Nice and fiery. Whoosh! There we go. Right. Perfect. So we're going to just chop down some trees, get some more logs. The birch nuts you can actually eat as well. Uh, so that's pretty beneficial. And what we'll do is we'll take this, get some more gold as well. So we've got a couple of pieces of gold. So we can build a couple of science machines. So if we decide that we want to move away from the base that we're going to be building this time, we can always head into a different direction and, uh, and take care of that and go somewhere else. No problem at all. That's pretty good. Okay. So, just trying to get these things done. And doing some things during the night is obviously pretty good. Because the last thing you want to do is sit there and have to wait. I know we can build, like, sleeping bags and stuff to try to do a little bit of sleeping. But that's not the best uh, solution to the problem, is it? So, we'll carry on. Oh, what was that? Uh, oh, there's a statue. A glomer statue. Can we? No. Uh... Let's build a torch. And let's just light this tree so we can see what's going on. Oh, that was Benny. There's a pan flute there. Just knocked him out. Oh, it's the mole that's making a, a mole worm thing. That's making that delicious noise. 
that my one's gonna burn. <laughs> uh, actually, let's cook this birch nut. And let's eat it. And then cook this carrot. Probably are, we are probably wasting a little bit of food, but can I burn the gunpowder? <laughs> um, we'll cook these frog's legs as well, I guess. I mean, I'll, I'll hang on to those. That's like our emergency reserve food. Definitely want to build a backpack. Definitely want to get a science machine going. Definitely need to get some grasses, actually. Look in my inventory. I don't have any at all. Um, and you require those for the backpack, actually. So that's something we'll have to look at doing. Uh, we've got a 3% pickaxe and a 4% axe. So they'll have to... In fact, we'll just do that now. So we've got both ready to go. You've been watching the Gapcast. We hope you had enjoyed the show. Don't forget. Get to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget. Get to check out all of our other videos!